Okay, good evening. I'm so glad to see this place completely full. Thank you to uh, tonight's guest. Uh, welcome, I'm Hitoshi Abe, I'm the chair of the Department of Architecture and Urban Design, ECLA. And I'm very happy to start this year's lecture series with Ken Okuma, one of the most renowned architects from the country I'm from. So, we're very happy. Um, actually, I need to thank you to Japan Foundation of Los Angeles. I think the director uh, Ito signs here you know, for collaborating with us to make this event possible. Before I introduce uh, Kumasan, uh, I need to mention about the next lecture it will be held on Saturday, October 26. This is quite unusual, actually, the timing for us to actually to do this lecture uh, on this date, but we have a very special guest, uh, philosopher Bernard Stiegler, and the lecture starts on 5, with a reception at 4, so please come to join us, and uh, I'm sure this will be a really good one, too. So again, I'm very honored uh, this evening to introduce our presenter tonight. Uh, Ken Okuma is uh, the professor at the University of Tokyo and also, of course, he's a principal of Ken Okuma and Architect and Associates. Among Kuma's major works are uh, Kiyosan Observatory, Water Glass uh, um, a Stage in the Forest, Toyoma Center for Performance Arts, and Actually, he said, I don't have to read all of this stuff, but there's so many projects that he's working on. But recently, uh, he started to expand his career outside of Japan, and there are so many projects lined up uh, in the way, especially projects in France, Granada, Spain, and also the, the new Victoria Albert Museum building in uh, Dundee, in Scotland, in UK. And, uh, 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 I actually am so uh, thrilled to see his recent project today, so that I can see his uh, sort of a, a project ranging from very large to very, very small. And uh, um, he's a, one of the uh, leading architects in Japan that actually been active for a really long time. And uh, also he's a, one of the very few now that the uh, food writes, who, who actually writes about architecture, and his book is well pu published not only in Japan but around the world. And there are lists, long list of also the awards that I supposed to mention, and maybe it's not so important, I will skip it, but there are so many awards around the world, and also he's an international fellow of RIBA and honorary fellow of AIA. And uh, um, there's so many publications that I also can't know. But uh, the recent one he wrote is about a very small building. And it was, I think, not only published in German, but I think maybe translated in English. A, a published. Without further ado, please welcome Ken Okuma. for the kind of introductions. Uh, he's my other friend, and, uh, and it, it, actually it is not so easy to speak in front of my old friend. <laughs> I'm a little bit shy to speak in that situation. Uh, but today I want to think with you about the strongness of architecture. So what is a, strong, a real strongness of architecture? So, the, the, so because the, as, a, as you guess, as a, so we had a big disasters as a two years ago, and, a, and a, so I so designed some buildings in that area, two areas. As a, and a, as a, luckily, so my buildings were, were not as damaged, but I began to think what is a, 
They are strongness of those as a, as a for they are strongness for the 21st century architecture. In 20th century, the, the strongness is a kind of it's a simple matter. It's a concrete strong building or steel strong building. As a, as a, that kind of rigid strongness is as a, means the strong architecture. But the the I took this picture by myself, so, and I found the concrete buildings are not so strong enough in this kind of situation. In front of the, <coughs> the great power of nature, the concrete buildings are very weak. So, the, but uh, the, 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 amazingly, the wooden, stone, wooden small buildings the sound and small buildings, small buildings are very strong. So especially the people in those in Tohgeria, so, so, so already is a new, the so, so some elevation, so above that elevation, the, the tsunami so, so didn't hit the building. So, so historically, the traditionally, the generation by generation, they know that elevation. So, and also, they know the, the they know that those flexible wooden structures are strong enough to reduce those the power of nature. And the hint of the strongness is on the softness, flexibility, and smallness. So I want to think with you about those things. Uh, the first example is uh, Kitakami Canal Museum, so because the I designed this building in Ishinomaki city, and Ishinomaki city was most damaged city by tsunami. So uh, many people passed away by tsunami. It's most it's a, it's a town. So, but my building was, was, a, was a very fortunate tree, so it was not damaged by tsunami. The building is here. It's difficult to find. So that is a, a, the theme of this project. As a bit, most as a two third of the building was buried, and one third, on, only one third is, is, on, is on top of the bank. And uh, and so I designed that building in 1997. And at that time, I thought it, a, it, it is a kind of a strong building. So living with nature is strong. So, but uh, the plan is like that. Kitakami River is here. Kitakami Canal is here. So this is a, a walkway along the river, and uh, this building is a part of the walkway. So I want to combine the, the passage and the building. So uh, this so this is a uh, the walkway. The, uh, the, it's a slightly uh, so, uh, so inclined to the bottom of the building, and then climb up again like that. And this is a big as this big windows which connect. Exterior and interior. And this is Kitakam River, this is Ishinomaki City, so section is like that. And this is the main entrance of the building. And the, the, it is very difficult to find the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Even the taxi drivers sometimes can, can find <laughs> the building. And, uh, as, uh, and this is uh, so, so Kitakami River side, it's a big, big window here. So it's bottom of the building. And this is, <coughs> so you see the, the window flame here. And uh, the, the basic idea for this building is, this is a framing. This is just a frame. So the protagonist is the beautiful landscape of Kitakami Rivers. And this is it's, uh, it's like the wind, you know, in the flame of the wind, as a, as a picture, and uh, and then the activities is separated by the big windows. Half of furniture is outside, half of furniture is inside. And the the kids of this of this uh, the city really loved that the building. But, uh, but after disasters, please look at these rivers. The, so when I visited this building two weeks after disasters, I was so surprised to see the water level raise one meter. 
but it looked look like flooded. So I guess the reason because the the land of the city dropped one meter. It's so all the way. This is amazing. And the, the, as, as for the elevation, it's dropped one meter. But as, uh, as for the as a as a horizontal movement, the land itself moves three four meters. And then the eventually the the GPS. It was not working because the land itself just lies three, four meters. It is unbelievable. And this is view from river. And the next project is also the I design for Tohu area. This is the Hiroshige Museum. Hiroshige is one of the, the major Ukiyo-e artists in the 19th century. As a, for this building, the, the I as a use local material as possible as can. And uh, for the roof, the, the, this, uh, this wood that came from the mountain behind, and the, and the wall as well, and also interiors, we uh, try to use indigenous material as possible. And as uh, this hole, this void is very important for, for this planning. This hole is penetrating the building all the way. This is a hole. And so I want to explain about the, the typical structures of the village, Japanese village, not only for Tokyo area, so almost all as a, from nose to house. This is a typical structure. Main road is here, the village center is here, the mountain is here. And always the mountain, as the village centers so are connected, it's very tight to it. It's because the, the life of village people is, uh, so was totally so rewrite on the natural resource of mountain. And then people call it Satoyama, the meaning of Sat Sato means village, and Yama means mountain, and Satoyama <coughs> means village mountain. And as always, they built shrine as the edge of the village mountain. So why? Because so this is this shrine is, is a strong message. So don't destroy nature of the, the mountain. Because the energy so came from the mountain, the material came from the mountain, and the, the fertilizer for, for farming also came from the mountain. And if the mountain was the damaged, the, the, the village life cannot, the, the village people cannot survive anymore. And then the, this is very, very important. The most important is the element of that this urban design is a shrine. But in 20th century, the industrial era, people forgot the, that message. The, but, so the 20th century people look in this to Tokyo, just Tokyo, and they forgot the mountain, they forgot the shrine, they abandoned shrines, as a, and then the, the, this life, also this life was almost abandoned, very bad situation, almost ruined. And then, the, as a nice, the, as a basic idea is, that this building should be as a, and the message so for reminding the importance of the Mount Chandra Shrine. And then so what I could do is to have the entrance here, the facing mountainside. Parking is here, and then the, the entrance, so to have entrance here is not a normal solution. And actually, the mayor of the village said, Ah, Kumasan, parking is here, why not big entrance here? <laughs> and I said, so, Mayor san, so, <laughs> Mayor -san so, so if the entrance is here, so again the people will forget the mountain, forget the shrine. And then so, so I have, I, so, so, and finally I could persuade him to have the entrance facing the mountain. And uh, this is far from the parking, but this, as a, this as a walkway is very important for the building. So this is the materials I choose, and uh, 
And as for the detail, the, again, smallness is very important. So between the small particles, so people can feel nature and the wind, light, but then it's so always the, the, I try to divide the material as two small pieces. This is a, a this is a garden facing the, the shrine and the mountain. This is a section. And this is the interior. And uh, as for the interior design, the super juxtaposition is very important for us. The, as also for pure painting, the super juxtaposition of layers is very important. So for the creating the three-dimensional spaces, the, the QA painters the, 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 the uses the, the method of the super juxtaposition. They didn't use prospective method. They only use the, the layering method. And the materials, again, the, Rice papers and the stones and the and the wood. So, so, with, so we worked with local craftsmen. So we worked with local material and super juxtaposition. And so also for furnitures, so, so we try to make furniture as a part of super juxtaposition. And the next as a, is Adobe Museum. This Adobe is not the name of the, the software. <laughs> <laughs> Adobe is a, is a method of construction. system of this so the house is not normal as Japanese method, method. So because in Japanese the, the wooden construction is the standard and then the, uh, and, but this is so made by the very solid thick wall made by the earth of the place and then so just so dry the earth so it's, that method is called adobe construction and also in, in the, for the, in, uh, the, uh, the Pueblo Indians, uh, they uh, did not that method for his houses. And, but uh, in Korea and uh, China, the, the construction methods are very popular. But in Japan, also, probably only this village was doing that method. But the village people for, forgot that method anymore. And I... <clears throat> As a, I discussed with a, as a craftsman, as a, and a, as a, they could make this block, and a, this block with some the steel joint. Because as, a, as a, we have, as you know, we have the earthquake, and a, we we should a, combine some of that technology with the tra traditional method. And a, this is a steel, as a, as a wire, is the figure of that. Construction method, structure method. And this is a result. This is material, and then this is a result. And then, so then that means the transportation is was minimized. The energy for transportation, and cost for transportation, also are minimized. And the, this is detail. And this is the national one of the national treasure. This is a, a 12th century wooden Buddha. And the, so because of the uh, Adobe, because of the Adobe material, so we didn't use as an air conditioning machine for this project. Because Adobe as a soil block can control humidity and temperature. And it is it's also a big challenge because it's a national treasures as a as a client is Mr. Ministry of Culture and they strongly as a uh, the, the asked us to use perfect air conditioning systems, <laughs> but I rejected it because as a natural air conditioning system, it's, it's not, natural means it's nothing, it's, it can control humidity and temperature. 
and then so finally so we, we could construe them. And another example is related to with the American the architects. So of course you know Frank Lloyd Wright. So he came to Japan in 1923 and he designed this beautiful Imperial Hotel. And uh, so, so also he loved the indigenous Japanese material. So, so please look at the, those stones. <coughs> this, the detail of the stone is beautiful. And so, when he came to Japan, so the client is so, so the Imperial Hotel is the best top line hotel, and that they so asked as a flamboyant well, light to use the gorgeous Italian marble or so some or the granite or some kind something like that. But uh, Mr. Wright so rejected. I, I want to use Japanese material and soft as so a fragile material is very important for this building. And, uh, and no, nobody can say no to the masters at that time. <laughs> and then, then he so, so finally as a complete this beautiful detail as a, and also the scratch tile the scratch tile this is it's a kind of invention and this is also to make the building soft as possible and that's to create as a shadow as, a, as possible as can be and uh, so the story is uh, the quality of the stone. So the name of the stone is Oyashi. Oyashi. So it's very close from this the, this station. So I was asked to design a small plaza in front of the station. This is existing building, existing warehouse of rice. And uh, what I did is uh, so to use the same material, the Oyashi, Oyashi stone, Oyashi stone. But as a, as I want to create another kind of porosity so instead of the, the porosity which as a, uh, Mr. Bright created. And uh, this is a, as our detail. As a, as a for creating that as a porosity, uh, so we combine the steel structures with masonry structures. It's a kind of composite structure system. And this is a, as a system. And the stacking stone, steel, stack stones, steel, so, and finally, so we can make this structure. We test it so, so by this fruit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the interior. This is a new part of the building, the same, using the same stone. You can see a steel plate here. This is a new part of the building. Next material is so, so bamboo house. So, as, uh, because bamboo is also as one well, of my favorite material. And, uh, but so, so usually the so bamboo has been used only for the decoration. We wanted to use bamboo as, as a kind of structure. And uh, slash engineers as a, as a as idea is to use bamboo and, and trunk as, as for the, uh, the, for the format of concrete. And uh, so we, the, the, the carpenters can cut those uh, the fillers and then put the concrete and the steel plate into the bamboo. And so the diameter of the bamboo is almost six inches. And this is only enough for this building. So this is for the first one. So always we, so uh, you making this kind of real size mock-up to compare uh, the, the dimensions, uh, so check the transparency of the, of the screen. This is the first so the house, as a, which was built in Kamakura. And, uh, please forget those houses. <laughs> it's a typical Japanese landscape. And uh, so this is uh, the detail of bamboo house. This is the uh, second floor. This is bamboo floor, partition, and ceiling. And that's because of this floor, there's a ground floor and first, second floor is a, a very transparent and a, 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 can communicate each other easily. But the problem was the dust from the second floor. 
And second, there's a bamboo project is so that project in China. You know this is a, it's a big wall in China. Uh, so the idea is, is, a, is, a, is a, was hinted from this wall. So that hint is to preserve the landscape. Don't cut the land. Don't cut the earth. And then the bottom of the building is following this is a special landscape, and we don't want to cut the land. This is very opposite from the typical 20th century method. 20th century, make flat land and build the building on the flat land. But this is opposite method, opposite approach to the landscape. And this is great wall. This is a building. So again, so this material is very, is a, is a very easily available in China. Very, very inexpensive material. So, so, so again, this is a void which penetrates the building uh, so to evoke the communication between environment and the building. And so next is a small pavilion in Italy. The, it's a project for Milano Salone, and, and uh, for the courtyard of the, the piazza, so we are asked to design a temporary small building. And as a, I started from what is temporary, and the easiest way is to bring bring the material, as a, as a, as a build it, and then break it, and uh, bring the material back to Japan again. And then the material is not the waste, it's just, not consumed. So just as a, this is a real meaning of temple here, yeah, I thought. And uh, I got a hint from this toy. Ch Chidori toy is a very old traditional toy. And uh, with a very clever system. The, the three type of sticks is a joint. And the cycle, as a cycle of squares, as an L shape, and, the, and the, the first bar, the second bar, and the insert third bar, and the, the turn the, the second bar, and the finish. <laughs> this is very simple. But this, those are the materials we brought from Japan. The Japanese carpenter has already cut the, so that circular shape, square shape, and the different the joint. So the, our student, so without the help of carpenters, they they, they build it. And the, I, I as a, as a, as a began to have a second dream. The second dream is to make the permanent buildings by the use of the same system. And uh, we tested in, in, our laboratory, in our lab of Tokyo University, so, uh, so we worked with a structural engineer, so Sato-san. Uh, Sato-san is also teaching in Tokyo University, and he's very good structural engineer. So, and his conclusion is, is, is uh, so the height of the building is 10 meters. And he said, the dimension is a, as a six cent, uh, as a six cent by six six cent, as a, is enough for this kind of structure system. And as a, and this is a section of this system. It's a ten meter building with this as a Chidori system. And this is a realization of that system. And this white paint is for protecting the edge of the wood. This is a traditional system. And this is the interior. And actually, so we have the small glass windows as a, as a, to separate exterior and interior. And those boxes are, are used for as a, as a, as a exhibit. This is look up the ceiling. The next step is, is, a, is making the bridge structures so, so by, the, uh, by the similar system. This is a bridge. 
And the, and the, and the, and the idea is a covered bridge because the four wooden bridges are normally as a, as a, as a, has a loop because they protect wood from rain. So in Europe and in, in also in, in China, Japan, so we have the covered bridge. And then as, a, as a, we discussed with the client, so this bridge also can be used for a small museum. This is the interior of the covered space. This is another interior. And for this small village, so I did the next step. This is a small hotel called Malashe. You used to have a Malashe. As a hint, is this the small tea house. In this village, the, there is a constructing those small as a, as a kiosk. As a, so actually, this is a, you know, this is a, uh, the small as a Buddha. As a, and uh, for their life, that small is, uh, is, uh, pavilions are very important. There still remain 64 the pavilions in that village. But the, as a, but the problem of the material is uh, that such is, a, is, a, is, a, is very difficult to create now, and the craftsman of the such is almost disappearing. And then as we as a, want to as a, as a activate the craftsman as a, as a, as a, of the touch loop. And, uh, and at the beginning, they said it is, this detail is unbelievable. And, uh, but <laughs> finally, they, they can make this kind of so it's a special detail by the use of a touch, touch block. And, uh, and also, the, to, uh, the path of regulation is not easy so to use touch for the facade. And in Japanese regulation, the, for the windows, the, we can use wood, wooden frame. And then the, the, we define the touch block as window, <laughs> not wall. And then the, actually this can be rotated to, as a, to bring natural wind and natural light into the space. This is the detail of touch block. This is interiors. Touch block is here. And so, uh, this is a, a, uh, a sp cold space called Malachi. It's, it's a small hotel that has a, has a, has a, has a, uh, has a kind of so, so farmhouse market in the atrium. Uh, next is a sports client, a unique client, Starbucks. <laughs> The, and uh, this is the location. This is a very old Zaifu Kanmangu shrine, uh, established in 1919. And uh, this is shrine, the mountain of the shrines. Again, so remember, the shrine and mountains are as always a, as a set. And this is main approach from what a sandal to the shrines, uh, the Starbucks sit here. And uh, because of the, the special location, uh, the franchise of the Starbucks, franchise, the franchise of the Starbucks, and, uh, and, and the Seattle headquarters asked us to design this small experimental Starbucks. And the, it's, it's our challenge is to use a special structural system. This is not as a decoration. This is a structural system to support this, this building. So again, I worked with, with, with Professor Sato of our university. And uh, the, the, the system the, we uh, create is this system. So for this case, we use uh, the, 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 the steel bar to fix the, the four uh, the sticks. And the construction is uh, not so easy, of course. <laughs> and the uh, total length of the, of the sticks for this small building is uh, 4,000 meters. Only, only for small building, this building. And uh, as a so our philosophy is, 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 is 
So architecture can be a kind of so evolution. That means a step by step we can go next steps. And the stop axis. After stop axis, so we are doing this small project. This is a landing. So the stop axis for stop axis this is horizontal. So for this building, this is the three story buildings. We turn the, and it's a vertical use of that structural system. This is interior. And this is a, the, uh, the structural system. As a cut, the, the same dimension, six centimeters by six centimeters. So, so, so five pipes, and then the four main facade, and the six, uh, seven pipes for the side facade. Uh, it's difficult to explain. <laughs> and uh, the, always the smallness is very important for us. And uh, for this project, so for Asakusa Temple, as our site is here. So this is uh, the very historical the district in Tokyo. So I love those with a small human scale. It reminds me of the, the, the traditional the, the Japanese townscape. And the, the, this is our solution. So, <coughs> so it's a simple. The so seven houses stacking each other. And each space is, from each space, is, people can feel the, the, the human, the, the subtle the, the, the house. And also, so we can maximize the, the, ceiling, the ceiling height by this section system. And uh, we, sometimes we can create this sloped floor. It's a small theater. And uh, also, the space between the roof and the floors uh, is not a waste of space. It is for mechanical. <coughs> this is a... Uh, uh, this is a, uh, the pictures of the realization. And this is new, new Tokyo sky trees. Uh, I, I, mm, not, I don't like this building so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ground floor. This is a, a, the small theaters I mentioned. This is a, so, the, the top, the floor. Look down the, this uh, uh, famous gallery. And so for next projects, as a, I want to so explain about the problem of Japanese cities nowadays. The Nagaoka is a, is a typical mid sized city in Japan, with a population of 200,000. And uh, the typical problem in Japanese cities uh, is that as a great train station two hours from Tokyo, but uh, is the city centers the, is not active anymore. So probably it's the same problem happens everywhere in the world. The activity is uh, moved out to the, the outskirts of the cities, the shopping centers, the public buildings, the museum, and everything is moved now to the city center. And then the, 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 this used to be the main street of the city. The people were, were walking on the city. But now, as uh, we call this street, Shatter Street. The Shatter is a uh, roll up door. And then the, the, some of the shops the, the already stopped the business. And then the roll up doors are closed. And it's a very, very it's a, a sad it's a situation for a Japanese city. And the mayor of the city decided to uh, so activate here again uh, by uh, draw city center back to the uh, and draw city hall back to the city center. And he found an interesting site, and he did a competition. So uh, the, we submit the idea of Doma that city hall. So I want to explain Doma. So Doma is, is, is a, a kind of the, uh, the, 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 the plaza, piazza, but the Doma is different from the, the Western definition of piazza. 
the doma is, is a space like that. So it's a traditional Japanese house. So, and this space is, is a multiple sort of space. So, uh, this house is for farmers, Japanese farmers. So they so were, were working here. And there's a cooking here. This is kitchen. And there's a, so eating here. And, uh, and the nighttime drinking here. So, so, this is a kind of so, the main so, the space. And the, you know tatami. So tatami are there. But tatami space is, is, uh, uh, is sometimes a space for bed and space for so, so, uh, ceremonies. And so, and, uh, but the so, real active space is doma. And so, for doma, the, the touch of the, the earth is very important. Softness and warmness of the earth is very important. And then for others as a city hall, so they decide to bring the earth to the, to the finish of the, the quality of piazza. And, and also for the material, the smallness is important, and the locality is very important. And the please look at those textures and those randomness. So, and also we decide, as so we so we made, we made one rule for the use of material. So, so maximum 15 kilometers is the uh, location of the material coming. So the wood, those wood, are uh, coming from so the distance 15 kilometers, and uh, and that is really important for the community. I think because of the Doma idea, the, the people of this Nagaoka, Nagaoka city, uh, the, the, uh, they the come to this city hall very often. And the normally the city hall is not so popular space, but for Nagaoka city, people are coming to this city hall. The, the kids are coming to, to the city hall to do homework, because as a, to do homework here is very exciting for them. <laughs> and also the for as the elderly persons, they come to here, so for communication, for chanting. So. And usually Japanese elderly are going to hospital for communication. Buddha <laughs> is same as here. The hospital is very important space for the, 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 the communication. But, so, but as a, and for this city, so, so, so those people are uh, so, so coming every day, every night. And uh, this is a, 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 a big roof which covers a, a Doma space. It's a portable take panels are computer controlled. And, uh, so, and also the, the arena and the Doma are connected with this hammer door. Dancing space. <laughs> and so assembly hall. The assembly hall is also open to the piazza, Doma, so to create the transparency so the politics. But the politicians were very upset <laughs> to hear my idea. <laughs> so usually the, the assembly hall of Japanese city hall is so sitting on the top of the building to look down the cities. This is opposite. So we from the city. Uh, so, uh, so another material we are use we, are, we use for this material is uh, rice paper. In this district, uh, they dry uh, they uh, so made rice papers like that and dry it in the own snow so to make it strong. And this is the rice papers we use for and this is this is also for the interior. For interior, we use the, the, the earth again. And, uh, this is a so, so, so furniture made by rice paper. Uh, the next is, a, is uh, another example of doma space. It's a very recent project. 
It's a small, as I said, a museum and uh, an excellent museum in front of it. another great train station. And this is a river. And so our idea is that the building should not be as a isolated object. The building should be the gate to the rivers. The, the gate is that which connect the infrastructures and, and nature. This is Doma, the activities of our Doma area. And, as a, and for the, as the shape of the building, so we utilize the idea of the angled roof. The angled roof is a typical landscape as an element of Japanese countryside. This is a central Doma space. This is Annex, and for Annex, um, as, a, as a, we try to find another um, a unit structure system. The unit is, for this case, unit is plate, not stick. This is a unit. The, so this triangular unit uh, has, a, has a cutting like that. The, the can fix easily to create the strong triangular framing. And, it's, and so the, the good thing for this system is it expands easily and, a, and, a, and it's, it can have the, the internal partitions also, also very easily. And uh, recently, so we uh, try to adapt those methods in a different context. So this is our, our, our Chinese project in Chengdu. So please look at this material. This material is the ceramic tile in China. The, in China, the, 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 the situation is different from Japan. In Japan, the ceramic tiles for roof so, um, are made in the big factory. So it's just a very standardized industrial material in Japan. But in China, the ceramic tiles so they are making still in the in the in the field. They burn the ceramic tile in the field, and so then the size is as a as a is not standardized, as the colors are not the same. But I li really like so that kind of type and the variety of the, the quality. And, uh, and our idea is sim as a simple. To use that local material, but to combine with some of the contemporary technology. And uh, so we, so also so this curve is a like that. And please look at the diversity. This is a detail which suspend ceramic tile. This is another detail. You can see this is a detail. This is for controlling natural light. For it, for every, uh, for each, uh, the complex, so we can find the, the special way to use all of the material. Uh, so this is a, the, another complex of Mexico. This is a location is, is very close from this glass house. And, uh, the, this is a. Uh, so our project is an extension to that original building. The architects of the original building, John Blackley, is a, is a, he was a teaching in Yale University with Philip Johnson in the 1950s. And, uh, this is our project. Philip Johnson, uh, this, is, uh, this is our original, uh, Joe, John Blackley's building. It is a symmetrical, so a, uh, the beautiful, the, the villa, 
standing alone in, in nature. And our idea is, this is a, the first building, right here. And so, uh, so we did extension. And the difference is the material, the, the composite structure system. Still clam and urban beach. And also the for planning, as a, we, we didn't like the, the isolated line. So we the, uh, applied the U-shaped L-shaped line for this building. And then the, uh, this is the first one. That this is the, the, our addition. And in the European context, so we recently designed some buildings. It's the first French project. It's Besançon Art and Cultural Center in, Bez in Besançon City. And uh, so start from the, the, this existing building. And the next step is to have a big roof which covers all facilities. And uh, in Japan, we have the word as a under one roof. And under one roof means the, the, the diversity can be as a connected by the roof. This is Japanese proverb. And as a, as a, this idea is adapted to that big, big roof. And this is the existing building, which is used for museum. And uh, this is a, as a conservatoire, as a music school. And uh, this is a void. It's also the connecting city and river. And this is a, as a void. Void. And we design the, the, the sections. The, between the rivers, this is the interface. And between the city, this is the interface. So water and vegetation. This is the elevation from the river. This is void. And this is the interface with the city. And the material, local material again. And so for this case, large. And the next Mount City project is uh, completed is also this year. Uh, the material is, as I, I work in Mount City, so I try to find the material. So I, so, so I found the, the small factories that they are producing the recycling recycled glass. This is a beautiful texture material. So, so again, the, the, the void is very important for this space, for this small museum. This is a void. So to, to evoke the, the, uh, the uh, dial between city and the building. If this is a building is a, is a box, is a, the dial cannot be happen. So our idea is, in that kind of dense situation, the conversation, the dialogue so with the existing city is very important. And the uh, next project is a project we won the competition in 2008. But because of the, uh, the Spanish economy, this project is is stopped, and, uh, but the, so I like this project because this is the hint of this project. It's a home granite. The name of Granada came from this fruit. So, I, so again, so I want to get a hint from nature, and living with nature is important. And in this case, fruits and the hexagon is all the fruits is a structure, hint of the structure. And the next hint is the Alhambra place. So on, the, on, the, on top of the hill. There's another geometry, interesting geometry. It's not perpendicular to geometry, it's another, another hexagon structures. And uh, we, design, we can design this as a fluid uh, in the park. Uh, this is a structure system. And the, the hexagon structure is, is supporting the, 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 the building. We want to avoid beam and column structures because we believe for the experience of the auditorium that these kind of structures can fit. And again, so we, as a, as a good thing for this structure, this is also this part of the structure, 
and so can divide the auditorium into small so com and so comfortable spaces. The total is uh, 1,500 seats that we divided into so 50 by 30 spaces. And the next is V&A, so, so at Dundee, so the hint is this, the, in this case a cliff. So, as a good thing for nature is that nature always has the textures, nature always has a sense of scale. And, as a, and if this is a concrete structure, this is, a, this is awful. But, uh, if this, is a, this has a scale and the shadows and textures, so it, 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 can be the, it can be real nature. And so this is a site, it's a river again. I don't know why, but many projects of us are facing a river. And uh, in this case, uh, so we designed a kind of cliff, a kind of void next to the river. Uh, so the, those the, the, the hall, the empty space, they can draw people from the center of the city. And, uh, and also for interior, the, the, those the, the steps they can work as a, the, the, the theatrical setting. In winter time, Scotland. In winter in Scotland is very as a tough, and so we want to use this space as a, as a theater for concert and dance, and etc. And the, the last part of the lecture is about a small pro experimental project. The, the big, the, 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 the besides big project, the larger projects, we are doing a small, small pavilion. And, the, and this is, those pavilions are very good for the research of the material, reality, the research of the structural system. And for this project, this thin stone is a structure, one centimeter thickness. It's because of triangular structures, this can support the building. It's only one centimeter possible. For real project, for bigger project, this is impossible. But for smaller project, one centimeter stone can be as a use for structure. As a, a next step is always a, the one step, and next step is as a, as a, we change the material. This is aluminum. For the, for this historical street, we designed this as a, a, a aluminum card system. This is the detail. The aluminum is, is better than stone for structure. This is a joint, and also this can be used like that. The, the joint is like that. <coughs> and the next step, this is a, a house made by the system. The, that system is uh, good for creating that kind of s s unique sections. And this, for this house, so we, didn't ha we don't have flat floor. So every space has a unique section. This is living, this is bedroom, this is entrance, and, uh, and uh, no flat floor. And uh, so our student made this house by themselves. Because the, that joint system is very, very is, uh, is easy. And this is a kitchen. And uh, the, also the importance for those experiments is one single unit can make everything. This is very different from the, the, our, the contemporary houses. And the, but the, the body the, of, of life, the, Basic element is a single cell. The cell can make anything. That is a, the system of the human body, that is the system of life. And uh, I want to do the same thing for this other kind of house. And the third step is this uh, small boutique. This is a, a similar joint. 
So the material is, is a veneer for this is a house, and then the totally, uh, totally different the, the shape can be created. The next step is the, the pavilion made by the ceramic tile. And for this case, ceramic tile itself is used for structure. And uh, the, again, structure engineers has, has calculated the stress of the element. And please, as I want to explain the detail. This vertical stainless pipe and the horizontal ceramic tiles are knit, knitted like that. It's a kind of fabric, verticality and horizontal element. Uh, the reason why we call it cloud is clouds is, is depending on the, on the change of time, change of seasons, clouds are such changing the colors and the textures is the same thing happening for this structure. Next project is uh, uh, made by the very unique material. It's a temporary uh, temperature memory alloy. It's a special metal. The metal is it's as a, it changes the hardness depends on the change of temperature. If temperature is high, its material is very very hard, rigid. And if temperatures get dropped, the, the, that material is become very soft, softer. And uh, this is structures. And for the achieving the softness, the, we minimize the dimension <coughs> of, the, of this. The, as a uh, 30 centimeters as a ring, the diameter ring, and the, the, the dimension of the each uh, string is just two millimeters. And then we need this the, the styrofoam to support the, the structures. And after fixing every structure, so we move it out, and then so we can get this transparency. And this is the, the core, this was called day. And top of uh, top of the, the dome uh, dropped a little bit like that. You see the structure. This is entrance. And uh, the another sort of structures we worked with uh, Mariko Mori is, is this. Uh, the material is is a polyurethane core. The, the hint is, you know, this uh, suspended structures by Antonio Gaudi. And this is our idea. This is mesh, the suspended from the top. And the, the, to uh, blow the polyurethane foam on this mesh. And after the, the, this, the blowing process, so we turn like that. And so finally, so this pavilion can be built. This is Mariko Mori's the art piece, and the double the, the uh, structures is needed to support this building. And this is a process. You see the, the mesh, and this is a, a polyurethane road like that. And this is a, it has a Hana Mariko Mori's work and the interior. So I also very much interested in the softness and also interested in the <coughs> the, 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 the relationship with form and structure. And the next project is uh, uh, so came from one Japanese joke. So if you are Japanese, you can understand the meaning. It's a kasa umbrella. So in Japanese, the umbrella is kasa. In, uh, <laughs> only Japanese can understand that. <laughs> in Italian, the kasa means a house. And the, we, we are asked to design the kasa de tutto from Torino Trinale. 
As I immediately as I heard the Casa de Tut ideas, I decided to use Casa umbrella for this house. Uh, the, 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 the goal, the, the aim of that project, Casa de Tut, is as a, for kind of the, uh, the disaster. And uh, my idea is if the, the umbrella, everybody the, has this umbrella, so people can build this house easily. So this is the umbrella we designed. <laughs> and the, this is a, 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 too big, but for the disasters, it is necessary. And uh, the 15 students meet together, bringing the umbrella. And, uh, and five hours the time they can make it. And the joint is a, is a uh, zipper, just a zipper. This is the interior. And the hint is, of course, the back means of flowers, the geodesic dome, you know, so of course. And the difference is uh, the back means of flowers as uh, didn't use the the, the membrane as a part of the structure. So he uses flame. And there is a kind of frame structure. But then for our <coughs> projects, the membrane the, and the frame are working together. This is a kind of uh, tensibility structures. So the tens compressions and contentions are working together to support. And then we can minimize the, the dimension of the flame, like that. And this is a normal the flame of the umbrella, so it can be used for, like that. This is, this is entrance. And actually, the, the, after the, the making this <coughs> dome, the 15, the 15 student, can stay can, in this can stay night here like that. <coughs> this is a the public. This is a uh, the, this is American uh, the Dupont products type of seed. And the, okay, the last last project is a, today is a, the water tank project. The hint is, is, is uh, the main idea is uh, the weight control architecture. So polytank is like that. So if we put water in it, so it, we can make it heavy like that. And then the, the, the usually the architectures, the weight of architecture cannot be controlled. But for this project, the weight itself can be controlled. So, so again, the, the hint is hint come, coming from nature, so you see water was filled tanks for this part of the public. And the next step, is always the next step, this is for New York MoMA exhibition. So we designed this, the new version. Uh, this is a, uh, the process of making it. And the big difference is, uh, is about the and the bulbs. So we have two bulbs for, for this unit. And to have the two unit means so we can create flow of water in the building. It's a big difference. It's like the big difference between life and, and, the, and storm. So if we can create flow, it is very similar to the life system, human system. So the building, inside the building, we can create the flow of water, flow of cold water, flow of hot water. That means it can control temperature of the space. And in the normal building, in the normal building, structures and the piping and the finish are the three different, totally different as a part, separated. But for this project, the, the 
those three the issues are the to, the totally combined. The, the wall itself can work as a the piping system, structural system, and finish the building. And that as a we as a design heat collectors outside of the system and then creating hot water here and the so bring hot water to the walls and bath, bed, kitchen. And it's very similar to the, the human body. As a one cell, one cell is creating body. And the, it's just a, the space of, of Tokyo University is uh, the connecting those units by those pipes. And also the difference of the shape, the, the, the first version is like Lego type, so it's good for masonry system, and the second system is, is, a, is a linear version, it's, so you can create this kind of uh, setback, and the, and the kind of cantilever structure system. This is uh, interior. This is bed, mm, a little bit narrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is kitchen. Mm. Uh, and the, and the, the importance is the one unit, one single unit, that can make everything like body. <coughs> the, and also the smallness of the, that single unit is very important. So, the, I want to go the, uh, to the, the, uh, the next step from the 20th century concrete building. So in concrete building, there's always a big volume, the continuous volume, so it's rigid, <coughs> But for our project, so in every case, the element units are small and flexible and soft. And uh, the, through those experimental projects, the, I want to go to the next step of strongness. Thank you very much. Structures are very um, permeable and you know repetitive. How do you deal with birds and, and other life creatures and how do you respond to them? Birds? Yes. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, always I have a question about birds. <laughs> as a for as a, most of our projects, as a, as a, bird is a big issue. Enemy. The bird is an enemy. <laughs> but there are four. So in the, uh, the, the Scotland project, the, the new system is a, as a, as a artificial the hook, you know, this it's, it's is an imitation, as a imitated, imitated big hook, and so, so they are <laughs> moving like that, and if we as a, set this, this artificial hook on the top of the building, so no birds are coming to the building. <laughs> it, it's not joke. It's a, it's a, it's a British technology. But still, the bird is a, it's a big problem. But it's a, uh, if, as a, my idea is, if the building is, is, a, is not a box, if the building is, is a, has some kind of as a, Coarseness and permeability, the, 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 it invites animal, it invites life. And it is very good for the building. One more question, maybe? Okay, well, so please give another round of applause to our speakers.